Hey Z Stars, what's good in the hood? It's your girl Zara, aka Epic Zara, and I'm back with another video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you've never been here before, welcome to this channel. We have lots of awesome videos for you, so be sure to subscribe. You don't want to miss out. So today, you guys, we're actually doing something really, really crazy. We're going to try a hair growth hack. I'm going to show you guys how to grow your hair at least an inch overnight. <laughs> I know it sounds really crazy and you guys are probably like, girl, what are you talking about? That's impossible. Well, it's actually not. And I was a huge skeptic, but we're going to dive right into that today. So I assure you all, you definitely don't want to miss out on this video. This information is insane. But before we get into this video, please be sure to do the four simple things I always ask you all to do before every video. Please be sure to give this video one big thumbs up. It lets YouTube know that you enjoy this type of content. Be sure to comment down below and let me know exactly what you want to see next. Be sure to share this video with all of your friends and your loved ones. And last, but most definitely, never least, subscribe to our channel <laughs> and turn your notifications on so you know exactly when we post a new video. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys and stay tuned for this video. You don't want to miss out. So everybody, the way that we're going to hack our hair today is by doing an egg mask. I actually really didn't think this would work. I've seen several videos and I thought that maybe, just maybe, there was some sort of property that made it look like your hair was growing. But after trying it, guys, I can assure you that this works. Now let's talk about why this actually is an effective way to grow your hair really, really quickly. So eggs are actually naturally rich in many, many nutrients, especially protein and biotin. Now, protein is what the hair is made of. The hair is made of keratin. Biotin is something that naturals all around the world already use to enhance hair growth. Aside from protein and biotin, eggs are rich in sulfur, phosphorus, selenium, zinc, lecithin, and a whole bunch of other nutrients. Let's quickly talk about what some of those do, you guys. So, of course, the protein strengthens the hair chaff. That encourages length retention. The sulfur in eggs encourages faster hair growth. Eggs also reduce hair loss and moisturize the hair, making it shiny, full of body. And again, that really aids length retention. The fatty acids within eggs actually counteract dandruff and dry scalp. If you have any of those issues, an egg mask might be an excellent solution for you and your scalp problems. The selenium and the zinc encourage hair growth again and reduce hair fall. So as you all can see, eggs are actually really rich in vitamins and nutrients that encourage hair growth, vitamins and nutrients that the hair needs to really thrive. So when you combine all of these at once, there's no surprise that it could create an environment for accelerated hair growth. Now let's talk about some of the myths and the theories behind why this could be fraudulent. So underneath a lot of videos, I saw comments like, oh, your hair is wet. Of course it's gonna look longer. It's increased elasticity. Destiny. Well, in order to actually eliminate that, we've decided to measure my hair wet while doing the egg mask. That's a long story, guys. And I also measured it after dry. Oh, you didn't measure properly or you changed where the marking on the shirt was. Well, I actually did find that using a shirt was not really helpful because there are many factors that could change how the shirt fits on the body and make it look like your hair has grown or it hasn't grown. So I opted to use a tape measure to get the most accurate findings I could. Another comment I saw was, Oh, the protein and moisturization increases the elasticity, so it makes it look like your hair's longer. It's going to wear off in like two days, girl. Well, I'd actually like to come back in a week and I'll let you guys know the findings. In order to figure out the results, you'll probably have to follow me on Instagram or Twitter. Actually, just follow me on both. I might put it in the video, but we'll see. We'll see you guys. So as you can see, eggs are actually a really great alternative to commercial hair masks that just cost a whole bunch of money and probably have a whole bunch of chemicals that you don't even really need anyway. <laughs> I'm actually probably going to incorporate this into my weekly routine. Before we get into how I'm gonna use this to make my hair pop even more, let's talk about the process together. So step one, I shampooed my hair, made sure it was squeaky clean. I actually used black soap. If you guys want to see a video where I talk about all the different types of natural products I use on my hair that are not necessarily hair products, then you guys could check that out here. But anyway, I used black soap to get my hair nice and clean to make sure that my scalp was free of debris and buildup. That way, any nutrients that we were taking in from the egg mask could really, really absorb into my scalp and my hair. 
Following that, I mixed the egg mask and I'm going to show you guys that process in another clip. I did mine a different way because I read several articles. I also watched several videos and I figured that for the volume of hair I have, as well as the texture, using more parts oil than they recommended in the articles would be better for me. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I did. I use a bowl of oil, eggs, an applicator bottle, a fork, and a spoon. I add three eggs to the bowl, then I mix in six tablespoons of olive oil. After that, I mix vigorously until it's very blended. And I add it to my applicator bottle. I mixed the mask, I applied it to my hair in sections and I made sure that my hair was a bit damp. Now I didn't release my twists as I applied it. I kept them in because I figured that would create just a much leaner environment for doing this little experiment. A lot of people have complained that it's super messy and I do not have time to be cleaning up my bathroom. So I said, let me just do this in twists, apply it to my scalp liberally and then gently apply it to the rest of my hair. This actually helped eliminate a lot of mess. You guys can see that in these next few clips. So guys, here we are in my bathroom. Um, hopefully the audio is not too echoey. Let's get right into this. I've already shampooed my hair. It's just in my little microfiber bonnet thing. I'm just gonna drape this towel over my shoulders. I think it's from my last hair excursion. It's a little bit soiled. I'm gonna let my hair down. So I'm just sectioning off my hair just to make this easier for me. I'm just going to apply this to my twist as is so my life is a lot easier. I put in this applicator bottle to make sure that this would be as mess free as possible. Just applying it to my roots first and then I'm going to apply some to my hand and squeeze it into my hair. Um, first impression, the texture of this is actually really interesting. Um, it's not at all what I expected. Ooh, thank goodness we're over top of the sink. But I don't usually handle egg with my hands so the texture is really different from what I'm used to. So if you guys notice, I'm really focusing on my roots, really trying to make sure that I saturate my roots because this has a whole bunch of vitamins and nutrients, which of course we already talked about. So I'm trying to make sure that my roots are getting the most of this. Now I'm a protein sensitive natural, so it's going to be really interesting to see how this affects my hair. So yeah guys, I'm actually not experiencing the mess that a lot of people complain about, and I'm pretty sure that's because I'm doing it in sections. Whew, you guys, it's just a little bit left. I'm actually already tired. I'm not really like about this whole hair mask, let me be extra, <laughs> like, but I wanted to try this out for you guys and I'm excited that we're doing this together. Okay, you guys, so it's all over my hair now. I'm just going to take the rest and put it anywhere I see fit. <laughs> really, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna make sure that I use every last drop of this because we're gonna get the full benefit of this egg max. Can't be doing all of this and I don't see results. So guys, let's take a quick break to talk about how this smells. Um, Really, it just smells like olive oil and egg. I'm not fond of the scent, but hey, if it does what it claims to do, I don't really mind and I'm sure it's not a scent that'll linger in the hair, of course. That'll be kind of weird. <laughs> But um, my hair right now does feel like I put protein in it. Um, it's not the most pleasant feeling for me because I'm very protein sensitive. But like I said, we don't know. Well, I do know how this is going to end, but you guys don't know what's going to happen. So let's wait until we rinse this out and then I'll let you guys know exactly how this feels. Okay, guys, so the eggs all in my hair. We're going to give my scalp a nice little massage so we can make sure we're getting the full benefits of all of these nutrients. Following that, I applied the saran wrap to my hair. Now that was a huge struggle. I'm the worst at applying saran wrap. You guys can actually see that in my henna video, which I will link right here. I'm not the saran wrap queen, but hey, it's fine. <laughs> After applying the saran wrap, I let the egg mask sit for 30 minutes to an hour, and it was still dripping down my forehead and down my neck. So what I did was I wrapped a towel around my head to eliminate some mess. I really don't like that sensation of stuff dripping down my neck. It makes me very uncomfortable. So if you're like me, Make sure you get yourself a towel to ensure cleanliness. 
Following that, I rinsed out the egg mask with cool to cold water. Do not use hot water or that egg will cook in your hair. Now, I didn't want to use shampoo because I didn't want to strip my hair of the nutrients I had put in it. So I just rinsed until the water ran clear and I applied my hair oil. Now all the articles and everything that I've read and watched said use coconut oil, but you guys, I hate coconut oil. I detest coconut oil. If there's one thing on planet earth, I dislike almost as much as I dislike strawberries. It's coconut oil. I cannot stand that in my hair. It makes my hair really crusty. You guys can actually watch that rant right here. I'm going to link it. Yeah, Z stars. I used my hair growth oil as a substitute for coconut oil, which again, I detest. If you don't have a hair growth oil, you can also opt for grapeseed oil. I've noticed that grapeseed oil is the substitute of choice for people who are sensitive to coconut oil. Just another quick tip for you guys. So I'm back to pretending to be the saran wrap queen, which I am not. <laughs> I had to apply saran wrap again. Or actually this time we really just abdicated the saran wrap throne and I just decided to use a plastic shower cap. To ensure that I was getting a similar effect to the saran wrap, I put on my little blue microfiber towel bonnet thing and I just allowed that to trap in the heat while the cap was on my head. I left that on overnight. After a long morning of cleaning my room, I took a shower, rinsed my hair again with cool water, initially with hot water, only to discover that there was a bit of egg mask left over and it did cook in my hair. And I proceeded to make this video for you all so we can get an idea of how effective this egg mask was. Now that we've done it, let's proceed to the very shocking results. As you guys can see, it actually looks like my hair for real grew. I measured it like five times per section because I could not believe what I was seeing. I thought that maybe I was measuring wrong or I was pulling it too much or I wasn't doing something right, but it actually grew. When I tried to check the shirt, it seemed as if my shirt had stretched a bit and the measurements there were inaccurate. So I couldn't really get a good reading via the shirt, but I did use the tape measure multiple times again. And I followed the same procedure as I did the first time I used the tape measure only to discover there was perceived growth. So again, I'm flabbergasted. I'm shocked that this appeared to work. I think you guys should give it a shot and let me know what you find out. If you guys want to try it, let me know in the comments down below. And I think in order to see if this is really effective, I'm going to do this once a week for a month to see how much my hair grows. I think that's the only way to really be sure this is as effective as it claims to be. Let me know what you all think. Do you think it worked? Because I really believe that it did. Again, I'm extremely meticulous and I was very careful with how I I measured the hair. So Z stars, that's the entire video. Thank you so much for watching. It means a whole lot to me. I love you guys so much. I really believe that this worked. You guys comment down below. Let me know. Do you think it worked? I do. I do because I'm extremely meticulous and I made sure to measure very carefully. Comment also what other hair growth hacks you guys need me to try. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, you guys. Let's get this to at least a thousand likes. I'm believing in you all. <laughs> Share this video with all of your friends and your loved ones. And last but certainly not least, guys, Guys, be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and turn on your notifications. Thank you guys so much. It's been a pleasure bringing you all this really interesting video and I hope that you all are enjoying these more interactive videos. Let me know down below. This is just video one in our series and I'm excited to bring you more of this type of video. Thanks guys.